most cooks usually do. Now, I didn't cook for a long time. First 40 years we were married, me and Baby Doll been married 51. First 40 years we were married, I didn't cook. She cooked everything. I could always cook. Mama taught us how to cook. When we were growing up, so I could always cook a little bit. And I did a little bit when she wasn't around. She wasn't very seldom. She wasn't ever around because we stayed pretty close since we got married. But uh, I started fixing a little supper stuff for supper tonight. So I'm gonna show you my menu real quick. Now I done cooked some black eyed peas up. You heard me tell about them peas in another video. Black eyed pea, Alabama chili. Black eyed pea chili. I cooked me about a half a pot. I buy a pork loin, cut it up in little medallion sized pieces. A little bit, however big they come out, about, about that thick. Pork, fresh pork. And I put them in my peas and cook with it. You can use ham hock, a little leftover ham, some bacon, whatever you got to season them beans with. But I cook them just like you cook dried black eyed peas. Put some water in them, let them swell, and then start cooking them. A little salt, a little pepper, just a little, just a touch of grease, all in there. And then them medallions in there for the meat. And then I'm gonna cook some cornbread for my part of the supper. Uh, me and Baby Doll's eating a little different. She's trying to die a little bit, so I'm gonna make her a couple of hamburger patties and a salad. We make some homemade, but uh, ranch dressing show sure is good. She likes that. But I'm fixing to make some cornbread. I done got the peas cooked, the meat, the meat in them, and everything. I done got them things cooked up, ready to eat. We got that all ready to go, so I'm going to make some cornbread. I'm going to show you how to make some quick cornbread. All you need is a little self-rising meal, some buttermilk. Make sure that buttermilk shook up real good, and a little bit of flour to make it hold together. Now, self-rising, you don't have to add no baking powder, baking powders, and salt, and all that kind of stuff. It comes already pre-mixed, so I sort of like it. So you take your about a scoop and a half of cornmeal, just like that, about a scoop and a half of cornmeal. And then you just take a dab of flour, and it don't matter whether plain flour or whatever, and put a dab of flour in there to hold that cornmeal together, cornbread together, good heaping tablespoon and a half. Mix that together and the whole together. We're going to have black eyed peas and cornbread. I'm going to show you how to make some quick cornbread. You get you a skillet. I got a little bit of water in there. Get you a skillet. Put you just a little grease in it. Just a little grease now, not much. Just a dab of grease in your cornmeal. Just gotta have a little grease. Can't cook without grease. Got cornmeal in that, about like that. That dab of grease in there. Stir it up real good. And get that flour mixed around in it a little bit. Then you just pour it in until you get it to the right consistency. Pour you a little bit of buttermilk in there and stir it up. See how it does. And if it ain't like you like it, add a little more buttermilk. Now, if you get too much buttermilk in it, you put a little more cornmeal in it. But you just keep adding a little buttermilk till you get it to the consistency you want it. You can get it to where you can just pour it out or you can keep it stiffer and press it with your spoon after you get it in the Spread it out, get your good consistency, get your pan hot. Light your fire, get your pan hot. I should have done been lit my fire and let my pan be warming up. This stove top, whole cake cornbread. Put it in an iron skillet. Things cook better in an iron skillet to me. Now all we gotta do is wait for the pan to heat up and pour that cornbread out on it. 
wait for it to cook a little bit. We'll have cornbread, black-eyed peas, and pork medallions ready to go. Now you just pour that cornmeal out of that corn in that frying pan when it gets hot. Spread it around a little bit with you. Spread it around a little bit with your spoon. Get it fixed up where it works pretty good. Turn that fire down a little bit where it cooks. It won't burn on us. And we gonna cook that for a little bit. We'll show you some more of it in a little bit. That's what your cornbread should look like after you got it in the pan and spread it out. I forgot to show pouring it out of the cup. I got in too big a hurry to eat. Forgot to turn my camera back on until I had it already poured. It showed me spreading it around a, bit, a little bit. But that's what it should look like when you get started cooking on it. Right there is what them black-eyed peas look like in the pot. Got them pork medallions floating in them. Sure ought to be good here in a few minutes. That's the first time I heard that. There we go. I'm on tip attempt to turn this cornbread. I have broken all the pieces. We couldn't find our real baker skillet. I don't know what we're done with it, but it ain't here in the camper. We must have left it at the shed. But I'm on tip to turn this here cornbread on the plate. I broke it all to pieces. Did you spray it? I put some little peanut oil in there on it. It's stuck. But guess what? It's still going to be good. I flipped it on the plate rather than with a spatula and I'll just put it back in there. We'll turn it over. Let's, let's sample that piece right there. Mmm, that's good. There ain't nothing wrong with that cornbread. It may be crumbly, but it's still good. I got that cornbread ready. I'm gonna fire the fire back up and warm them peas, get them peas good and hot and make some coffee while I'm waiting on this cornbread to finish up. So. I got the coffee in the coffee pot all set to go. So we'll turn this stove on a little bit, look back out. Warm them peas up, get that coffee brewed, get it ready for supper. We might get started on getting mama supper ready too. Now we got that cornbread done, but it sure enough crumbled up. But it sure is good. We ain't worried about the look so much as we is how it tastes. And it tastes good. We'd like for it to look good, but it don't always turn out that way sometimes. I'm fitting to fix mama. Hamburger. A couple of hamburger steak patties. And her salad. Get this thing going. Put a little olive oil in there. got some hamburger meat where we made some hamburgers the other day, yesterday before yesterday all. I put it back in the freezer and it hadn't quite thawed or froze so I thought laid it out. Got her all thawed out. Making me a couple of patties. Making her a couple of patties. Get a little salt and pepper on them. Get them in the frying pan. Get that splatter lid on it. I want that splatter lid on it. Where'd you put that splatter lid? Right over there in the corner. There it is behind this other one. Hiding behind the bigger. We got that splatter lid keep splattering on there. We fry that meat up. 
get a little of this beef tallow off my hand. Get ready to make her salad. We'll be ready to eat shortly. Got that coffee getting ready over here. See if I can get the makings of her salad. Yeah. We got the lettuce cut up for the salad. We got it cleaned up. So I got to clean this spot up right here. Get ready to. Cut up a tomato. Get me a little plate down cut that tomato on. And, uh, put that salad together. We about ready to turn these hamburgers. Coffee done got done over here. That coffee pot, when you smell coffee, you can turn it off. It's an espresso maker. And when you smell the coffee, when it smells like coffee, you better turn it off because all the water's going out of that bottom part down there and you're burning it if you, if you don't. So when you smell coffee with an espresso maker, turn it off. That's the way we cut tomatoes up. We slice them up and get them good cut up and dump them on them salads. Get a little bit of that homemade seasoning, buttermilk ranch, mayonnaise, dressing on that salad. Fire up a little bit. Get us a cup of cup of coffee. We just gonna pour this coffee in these cups. I'm sure you've seen that done before. Good old hot coffee. Mmm, that stuff's good. A little sugar, fruit fruit stuff in mama, mama's coffee. Baby doll likes hers fruit fruit up. I'm gonna drink mine black tonight. I drink a fruit fruit every once in a while. But I like it black with my meal. Two of them hamburgers, get well, we'll plate this stuff up and eat. And their baby doll is all plated up and ready to go. Her salad, two hamburger patties, and a little bit of ketchup. She's ready to go with that diet food. Looking good though, ain't it? Trying to get everything together so we can eat. I'm ready to eat. We're gonna sit down here and enjoy this meal. Coffee, black eyed peas and mater, cornbread. I can guarantee you one thing. You can pay a lot more for a meal than what this costs, but it won't be no better. I'm gonna shut this off while I can enjoy this. See y'all later. Glad I made this journey with you.